funds, zero money. I've started two businesses over the last seven years with zero funds. And so I'm going to, I know a little bit about that. So I'm going to talk about that with you today. And this can be done for any business, any niche, any product, anywhere in the world. And it's very uh, straightforward. So, and it's great news for you because if you're watching this, you probably want to start a business and you might not have a lot of startup funds. So this is how you do it. Okay. This is how I did it. You're going to start social media. You're going to start posting on social media, but not just anything. You're going to talk about either something entertaining or something informative and give some sort of value and post that on your social media and start getting good at becoming a content creator. That is the number one way to uh, succeed in starting a business with no funds. Now, you might be thinking, oh, yeah, but Rob, I don't want to get on camera. Da -da -da -da. But once you realize the power of social media, you can really, um, you'll really get excited about it and you'll get past that obstacle maybe of wanting to get on camera. And besides, they have AI tools now where you can get on camera without showing your face as well. So there's no excuse really to not start a social business. And if you want a good example of how powerful social media can be, look at the company called, uh, go to TikTok and go to XXL Scrunchies. That's a 20 year old girl who started a scrunchie business from her mom's apartment and now she's making millions. She did a deal on Dragon's Den. If you don't, if you, if you're American, you don't know what Dragon's Den is. That's the Canadian equivalent of Shark Tank. Anyways, she started selling these scrunchies. She started a TikTok account and she just started making one at a time and posting it on her TikTok. And now she's, oh, she's a millionaire. And um, it's very, she did a deal. It's very simple. You just got to become a content creator. That's the only way to do it if you don't have any funds. That's how powerful social media can be. And you can do it too. Anyone can do it. You don't have to be special. You don't have to be super smart. You just have to start learning how to be a content creator. For example, my first business seven years ago, I started a fitness business. I had zero funds, zero way to get started. All I did was start up a, uh, back then it was Facebook and Instagram and started posting on Facebook and Instagram different exercises on and every day I started posting, giving entertainment, giving value slowly bit by bit. I would get people watching. I would get start to get clients coming to my boot camp. And over the next seven years, I grew that boot camp to be a million dollar business. And then I sold it off. So and now I'm on a line, my online business, the same thing. Now I just do social media. I do online marketing, same thing. I just talk online. It's all online and I created another $100,000 this year just simply by talking on, to you right now. So you can do the same thing. Anybody can do this, okay? So my advice to you is one, become a content creator. Two, learn how to start creating content and there's so much free tools out there to teach you how to be a content creator and you can do it faceless as well. If you want, there's AI tools that allow you to be faceless. A really good tool if you want to make faceless content, there's um, invideo.io is one. Another one's called Creatify, and there's another one called faceless.video. You just Google them. There's so many. So hopefully that helps you on, um, and by the way, I wouldn't think about it too much. Just start. Just start today. If you don't have an account, post your first video. Just make it, and don't worry how bad it is. You'll get better at making videos. The more you do it, after about maybe 10,000 videos, you'll start making really good content. Just do it every day. It gets easier and easier, and you'll get better and better at it. All right. So it's hard to push. Somebody made a comment. What was that? It's hard to push for business when there's oncoming expenses nonstop. Um, yeah, it is hard. It is hard uh, when there's oncoming expenses. But what kind of expenses do you mean? Um, because if you're starting up a, a business online, all, all the content you make is free. So there's not really any expenses uh, for getting tra eyeballs and traffic to your business. For if you have a brick and mortar business, yeah, it's going to be, there's going to be more expenses. I would, you know, it depends what kind of business and niche you're in. Uh, if you do something online, you're probably going to have a lower uh, monthly expense. For example,